because mount. because we saw Fedor get tired in his in his fight with Heath Herring after he delivered his onslaught of punches. Now it's his turn. Nogueira needs to really get busy. Look at this! Oh! Whoa! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Man, this is crazy. I have never seen a heavyweight match on par with this, and I've seen Herring versus Nogueira, Nogueira versus Sapp. Already, this has eclipsed those two oh. classics. <laughs> Whoa! Round number one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you very much. This match wow. has easily surpassed any kind of hype that it had prior. Nogueira walked to his corner slowly. I'm very relaxed. Fedor went to his corner, probably thinking he needs his reserve energy now. Boss. Your thoughts? I uh, speechless. Uh, I was speechless in the last few fights. This is unbelievable. Look at this. Here we go. Bang! That is right on the button, right on the temple, right on the cheek. Very few of those punches miss. Fedor is so accurate. That's the that's the vicious thing about him. He's not a wild puncher. Oh, that, that, that was a hard hit. And that too. And that too. How can Nogueira take those punches, those shots, and just play the guard game? Look at him. How relaxed he is. He stays. I mean, look at his turn. And then we show show the other turn. I have to tell you, regardless oh. of who wins this fight and is the heavyweight champion of the Pride uh, organization, I think these guys will probably meet again in the future. If they have to. They have to. They're too good. They can't. In my book, nobody can lose anymore. Yeah, because it's easy for another fighter to say, oh, I'll step in with either one of these guys, but nobody really kind of wants to sign on the dotted line, now do they? <laughs> yeah, no, they don't. They, they mysteriously kind of vanish when it comes to the negotiation process. Yeah, or they ask a million bucks. You know, I mean, the same thing with Vandalay. A lot of people say, oh, I'll beat Vandalay, but then mysteriously they vanish when it comes to the dotted line part. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. We got the two guys that say, you know what? I want to step in with this guy. And now not only are they going to do this, look at this fight. Uh, Nogueira has got a fat lip already. Second is out. I'm telling you. I've never seen something like this. He better keeps his hands up now. You know, he, he can't. They can't play the stand-up game either because you, it's, you saw the right hand lead. I know, but he better keeps it up again. And then goes for a takedown. <laughs> it, it, Fedor hits so I, hard. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. And let him count and I go for a takedown. That's okay. it. Look at look at the. Okay. There's oh, the good, good shot. He's making him pay even if he gets a takedown. You should just grab one. Yeah. And look at the, look at the balance here. Look at the balance. Look at the takedown defense, Basito. Oh, yeah. I, I would oh. just stand up. Why did he do that? Just yep. stand up. But he, he kind of maybe he's, oh. maybe thinks he's got no girl's number, but I wouldn't be so fast to judge that. I have never saw anybody hit so hard from being in the guard. Never. No. Ever. I mean, I, ever. Even Gary Goodwards was the champions. <laughs> yeah, but this blows it away. This is oh, yeah. and and accurate. <laughs> and so never anybody taking so many shots that also or anybody escaping from that kimura of uh, nogera he just gives him the arm right there he wow. said here's my right arm go ahead try it again <laughs> try to pass it it's like he's defying nogera to try and spin but he's not doing it in a way of disrespect he's doing it in a professional way he's fighting nogera's fight but inevitably he's fighting his fight <laughs> Because his fight is to hit Nogueira on the chin, and he's done that many times. Look, oh, what a great shot. Getting out to the body. Right on the ribs. Yep, that's going to take his toll. <laughs> in tight, in close. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're going to restart him in the middle of the ring again. Yep, they're almost getting into our lap there. Stop, don't move rule. Still move, but stop. Three rounds.
10 minutes, five minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes total if it goes the distance. At this pace, it may not go the distance, but we don't know because both these men still in their 20s, in their primes, probably have a lot left. I can't, I can't believe he can take these shots like this. Yeah, that's easy, it looks like. He just keeps continuing his game. He gets hit, but then goes for the guard, try goals, tries everything. It's... Noguera has stated that he will probably fight for another 10 years until he's possibly 36 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a fight. He's gonna pass. Oh, look at this. He's gonna, he's gonna do something. Go for half time. He's gonna do something. He's gonna try yeah, to he's escape. He's gonna try to flip it, but look. Oh, he's getting the, the mount. No. Look at, look at the. Oh, yeah. See, he just wants to play the game with him. I, I, Fedor, so far, has been able to elude everything. No, Garris. Every single move. Oh. And it's so dangerous. He escapes the triangle so easy. But uh, he's putting himself in harm's way each time. It's just an outright defiance of the submission ability. Oh, oh look at those I shots. I cannot believe that pile driver right hand cracked him right on the chin again. And nothing. It's possible that Emilianenko could punch himself out, but right now it doesn't look like he can. No, he didn't look tired at all when he walked to his corner after the first round. Can you imagine the training he must have been doing? I, 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 I mean, he must have thrown millions of punches. I think that he, instead of training on the back, hanging back, I think that he put the back down and just by hitting the back 12 rounds like that. Yeah, like, it looks like three hours on the back, <laughs> laying on the back and escaping Stop. triangles and arm bars. Of course. Oh, yeah. 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 It's raining. I, I tell you, Russian top team has never defeated a Brazilian top team. Oh, what a right hand! Oh, a good left hook. Yeah. Russian top team has never had one of their fighters defeat a Brazilian top team member. This would be the first. This would be the first. If he keep going like this, he's going to win the fight. Yes, he is. Because right now, he is in control of how the fight is fought. He's the one who decided to go to the ground. He's going to stood back up. He just pops right out. Can you imagine the strength of that guy's arms to pop out? Of Noguero's got his suit straight up. Mark Coleman has said that Noguero's got sick hand strength. Yeah. <laughs> He just sits up, boom, he's out. Oh! Look at this, look at that. Look at the beautiful sweep there by Nogar on the power. It happens every time. The first round, he swept him down on top. The second round, he flipped him over. Nogar is bleeding from his ear. Uh, it looks like it could all be, also be from the cut underneath his eye. Yeah, but he's bleeding from a couple little nicks here and there. Bloody, scratched, but very much unbowed. Fedor as nothing. As ice cold as the South Side Igor Book Chancer. Grenades, folks. Grenades. And there the, the triangle choke. He simply pushes it away. And then Noguera gets the guard again. It's almost like a cat and mouse game. Unfortunately, at this moment, Fedor is the cat. Yep, and Noguera better go to work now. He's got to submit him. Yeah, uh, or totally dominating this last round. He's got to dominate him, uh, but he's got to be very careful standing up. He's got to be extremely careful because we haven't seen Fedor land a shot standing up for the last eight, nine minutes, including, like, the first round, he landed the, the straight right, the left hook, and that was a big factor in getting him on his back. It's a known fact, and I say fact, that once Fedor hits an opponent on the button, it really takes him out of their game plan. Yep. But you know what? He hit him a few times hard on the button, and he still was working the guard. It's like an instinct. 
automatic reflex what he's doing. But there wasn't the kind of threat there was in the first round. No, oh, that's true, that's true. There was that, I mean, the first round there was the threat of submission. That round, it was the legs were moving into position, but it wasn't, it wasn't threatening. He just passed the guard quickly and then let him get the guard back again. Yep. Almost like, go ahead, get the guard again. No, last round. Last round, folks. If you haven't got your mixed martial art fix yet, boy, we don't know what to tell you because this is the greatest event that we've ever seen. Uh-oh. Down they go, and Fedor in the side mount momentarily giving it up for the guard tracking the right hand yet again yep, that guy's gonna go to work now he's got to he's got to go to work he's got to go and get a submission or do something otherwise he's going to lose this fight you know i'll tell you what the pride fight